What a lovely, lovely morning it is to be alive. All praises to the Most High, you know, for letting us be blessed to see this day. And on today's show, we have this story coming up out of the great state of Texas and the city of Houston. $50,000 bond set against 27-year-old accused of biting 10-year-old boy like a vampire. And look at this devil right here whose big bright idea was to bite a 10-year-old boy like a vampire. Let's get into these vicious allegations. A 27-year-old man stood in front of a Harris County judge on Wednesday after being accused of sucking and biting the neck of a 10-year-old who was singled out among a group of boys, according to charging documents. You can't believe it. Colton Tyler Ryan is facing two charges of felony enticing a child and another charge of injury to a child under 15 years old. Ryan is being held on a $50,000 bond and if he bails out, he's not allowed to be on social media, have contact with the minor, or go anywhere children commonly gather. According to court records, the incident happened on October 13th at a restroom inside an apartment complex gym. Ryan allegedly was lurking around a group of boys playing when he took the 10-year-old victim away. During his court appearance on Wednesday, the judge revealed that Ryan allegedly downloaded Facebook Messenger on the child's phone during this time. Records state Ryan then forced the child into the restroom, demanding to take intimate pictures with the boy. Now, not only did he kidnap this boy, but in the process of kidnapping this boy, he downloaded Facebook Messenger on the, on the abductee's cell phone. The victim reported that Ryan yelled at him and took photos before biting and sucking his neck like a vampire, charging documents alleged. The victim's mother found out about what happened after discovering Ryan's message to her son, according to the judge. Ryan allegedly messaged the 10-year-old at all hours, day and night, trying to meet up in person. The victim mom said she also noticed Ryan circling around their apartment building. So this dude kidnapped this little boy, downloaded a social media app on the victim so that he could contact him, contacted the child, 10 years old, all hours of the day and night, and was stalking the child riding around the apartment complex. You talking about a monster and a danger to society. This man right here is sick and he need to be kept in custody. I don't even think a person like this should even deserve a bond because if he done this one time, who's to say that he will not do it again? And releasing this guy out on bond is definitely a danger to the community. Man, the things that Esau do, you cannot make it up. But what do y'all think about this? Drop your comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click on that notification bell. And I'll definitely catch you on the next episode. We on our way to a million subscribers. It couldn't be possible without you. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the shares, the views, and the comments. And until the next episode, I say Shalom.